today so I do have some time to do a little bit of makeup don't really care to do makeup anymore to be honest but since my excuse during the summer was oh it melts right off then I guess I don't have that excuse anymore because it is pretty cold so but I am sweating because I just like drink coffee and I'm like making beds so but yeah I'm gonna do my makeup super super quick if you guys feel like you need something to help you get ready in the mornings just watch me do my makeup and hopefully that helps you guys um, have some type of motivation I know like I've seen other people post like just because you're a mom and stuff doesn't mean that you need to like stay at home and look like a hobo all day like get dressed for yourself celebrate yourself so that's exactly what I intend on doing thankfully Brando's home to watch the girls while I get ready oh no Anxiety creeps up on me Is this how it's supposed to feel? Tell me when it's over I got some place that I gotta be It won't leave My friends, hey Get out of your comfort zone It's a blessing in disguise Get out of what you call home Your name is written in the sky It might feel just like you're on your own Baby, it's another lie Remember you were me I try to work, work, work But it doesn't work I try to say something but This is so random, but I was talking to my husband about, you know, just kind of like reminiscing on the time that like we started um, becoming a thing. And we talked about how I would literally, I'm not even kidding, I would take two hours to do my makeup for a date to like a movie. I would take two hours to do my makeup, you guys, and it would, um, not to like brag, but like it would come out so bomb. I would take my time with everything. This was pre-kids, obviously. So I would take my time with everything and all the little details. I would use like a bajillion products. Everything was brand new and I promise you, I tell him all the time, I'm like, this makeup is expired, I promise you. And so, makeup is on my Christmas list because I feel like I need it. And it was such a big part of like who I was before I had kids. So, I don't know, like I just, I invested money into like good makeup products. And I, I, I think the only things that I kind of rebuy is like mascara like mascara I do run out of that like probably yearly so I've had my mascara for a year and I know I'm due for another one um like stuff like that I feel like I don't know like it just I feel like I want to have Christmas presents that make me feel a little bit like myself because it's so easy to like get lost in like parenthood right like it really is so scary sometimes. Like you get swamped in to-do lists, endless things to do, the cleaning, the meal plans, the planning, like everything, it's just so much sometimes. So I told him that I want a present that's gonna make me just feel good about myself, have something to look forward to, not just a cleaning gadget because that's actually what he was gonna get me. He was gonna get me a vacuum and I was like, 
I think I can hold off with the vacuum just because like it's something I do every single day and I just want something different, you know? But yeah, it doesn't take me too long to do my makeup anymore. I just slap it on. It takes me maybe 15 minutes, um, which is um, very, very little compared to before. But it's fine, you guys. I mean, for me, like, even being here, like, filming this, it's like, wow. I don't know. Do you guys feel like putting your makeup on kind of, like, helps you feel, like, more motivated or more yourself? For me, it does. It does. The only thing I don't like is having to take it off after the day is done. Like, that's what I don't really like. But it's fine. Make sure you take off your makeup. So important. Which leads me to my next point. I feel like, besides wanting makeup, I feel like I also want to invest in, like, good skincare um, or not like amazing skincare, but just something to help me like also with breakouts because I've been breaking out a lot here on like my jawline. So that's not good. Doesn't... Oh, and this is a mascara I use. It's maybe you guys can't really see it. It's the Man Eater Mascara by Tarte. I think it's called Man Eater. Yeah. Um, it is so good. I got it on a sale they had last year. And it's lasted me a while. Like I said, I don't really do my makeup every single time. I think I probably do my makeup like once, maybe twice a week. So I'm starting to finally run out, but it's a good one. However, I have heard that like drugstore mascaras are just as good as high-end mascaras, which I believe because I've used really good ones, like the Maybelline ones, the L'Oreal ones. But I got this on sale for like, $15 or $13 and normally it was like 20 or 30 I don't know and I'm also wanting to buy a new highlighter because I don't really have one I, I use the the Too Faced chocolate palette and I use like one of their sparkly shadows for a little bit of shine right here but I feel like I want like a more dedicated highlighter so if you guys have any recommendations for like a good good highlighter let me know in the comments. I literally think I'm done. That's it. Just just something. A little something. I know we are planning to take the girls to the indoor playground that we have here. So that's a plan. However, I don't think they open until like 12. I have to check the hours. I'm going to take you guys along with me on my day today. And um, yeah, so let's see what the day brings. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through Okay, so I know it's like a little bit bright, but um, Brando and the baby got off at Walmart just to pick up some milk ever since Melly started drinking milk We have been going through milk like crazy We've had to buy like three gallons for just one week and that's because it's only been like five days since we've been grocery shopping, so. It is not even 9 a.m. yet, so we're gonna figure out what we're gonna do. Um, we'll see what we do. It's it's a little cold outside. It's gonna stay really nice all day, so I'm not really worried about it getting like super hot and having to change outfits or anything, but um, we'll see what we get to. Uh even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. Say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground And I, I really wanna know, really wanna know If I, let me figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my high Go. You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high 
Even if the sky is falling down Well, I have like the breakfast dishes that I didn't do before I left. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a quick midday cleanup. That latte was so good, you guys. I got like a sugar cookie latte from the cafe that's inside our library and they have such good stuff. They have like the Breadsmith um, like baked goods and they're so delicious. Um, Brando got a concha and then I got a bagel and then Leah got like a cookie. Hopefully, Melly can take a nap. If she doesn't take a nap, it's gonna be a little bit difficult because if she doesn't nap, she does She does two naps a day. One is like around 10.30, the other one is like around 2.30, and it works out really well because her bedtime is seven, and it just goes really well that way. But if she doesn't take one of those naps, her bedtime will be like 6.15, just kind of depending on her mood. My kids are like such light sleepers, and I swear they do so well. They run really well on like very little sleep because me and Brando are the same um, way. So anyway, let me get to cleaning. I don't want nobody stabbing me with love. Don't want to waste no time getting my feelings hurt. I believe in those things we don't know much of. There's just so much to see that. Just wanna go It is 12.30 and we are hungry, so we're gonna be going to this really, really cool um, Kore what, Korean fried chicken place called, <laughs> called Kiri Kiri. So it's like K-I-R-I -I and then K-I-R-I -I again. And it's really good. So we had been wanting to try it out for um, like months, like when it first started. 
we just never really got around to it because we figured i don't know like we weren't sure if we were gonna like it or if it was like a kid friendly place because sometimes we go to places and they don't have high chairs and it's like then i can't eat here <laughs> so but this place we called ahead and yes they do have high chairs and we've been about three different times and it is so bomb it's super super good so they have like fried chicken but it's like seasoned differently and it's like dip like, it's like in a sauce and they serve you like fries um you can get like rice and it's just really really delicious it's super it's like a sticky consistency it's so good i'll show you guys what it's all about but yeah we're gonna go eat and then afterwards we're gonna go to an indoor playground that the girls love to go to and um and then we'll see what the day brings. You said that you needed me Like a cargo, you were carrying me I just hope you know my depth Even though it makes no sense of emotions and so does on the lighting the one to pick a fight with everything the water <laughs> the baby water. is it good yeah what does it taste like um fideo fideo <laughs> it tastes like fideo mm -hmm. really well oh, because it has a lot of consomme oh so i got like sweet and spicy chicken tenders Got some fries, that's called bulldog. Yeah. Bulldog. And I got them just regular chicken strips. <laughs> hey Tanya! Hey. Hello! Hey. Hello. Oh, there's a milk bottle? There's a little yeah. baby of my doll here. Hello. There's a milk bottle in it? <laughs> I guess so. Hey, this, this is Sibby? just like Oh, yeah. Hey, guys. All right, so we are back home. Um, it's like 3, almost 3.30. So I still have a little bit more of the day to go, even though I will say the days have gone by so much faster because it gets so dark here right away. Normally by like, I think by 6, it's just already dark outside. So I feel like the day's almost over, but it really isn't. Um, like I said before, norm normally Melly takes two naps, but I have noticed that when Brando's home, like she usually just does like one nap and she's good for the rest of the day. So it looks like she's just probably going to take one nap. Um, right now we just got back from the playground, the indoor playground, and it was so much fun. So I have a few presents that I already wrapped for Christmas, uh, for some family members and some are for the kids. Um, so I'm going to place some gift tags on them because I realized I didn't have any and I got some from the Dollar Tree. Um, so I'm probably going to do that. I'm like in my room right now. So I'm going to do that. Leia's having lunch because she really didn't eat too well at the Korean restaurant. Melly, she's a really good eater. So she ate really, really well. Um, so yeah, after this, I think we're probably going to go to my parents' house to, um, visit i have an aunt and she's a teacher and she was able to get some like kindergarten leveled uh school work for leia from our district and she so leia's homeschooled and i've been homeschooling her for the past few months and it's going it's going really 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 well I did ask if i could get some work from her just like as extra work and see just to make sure that i am kind of doing what the district wants for the most part um, because she will be more than likely going to regular um, government school next year. So I just want to make sure that we are on the right track, on the right level. So we're probably going to do that in, in a little bit. I don't know if I'm going to bathe the girls before or after we go to my parents' house. I think I'm probably going to do before. Um, yeah, so thankfully Brando's here to help with bath time because bath time, I feel like it's so like exhausting it's a lot of effort i feel like because i do i do one one girl first i do melly first and then i get her out get her dressed put her in her crib for a bit and then i do leia i don't do both of them because this might be tmi but melly likes to poop in the bath 
um, when she's in there with her sister. I don't know what it is. It's happened twice or three times already and y'all, it's a literal shit show. And I'm just not gonna do that until she stops that horrible habit. <laughs> but yeah, let me wrap, well not wrap these gifts, but let me just put some tags on these gifts and see what else we got going for the day. Walking around, feeling free, thinking about what's happened to me from July up till now. Don't know where. So I did decide to go ahead and end this vlog after this. I did go to my parents' house afterwards with my family and I got horrible allergies. They have tons of cats, so I get horribly sick almost every single time I go. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed following me and my family along on this vlog. I really did enjoy filming it. And so let me know if this is something that you guys like this kind of video. Uh, let me know down in the comments below what you all thought. And I will see you guys on my next next video. Bye guys.